Welcome to the world of Spanglish Gaming. What is up guys? Swampin here. And today I'm bringing you guys a video slash tutorial slash call it whatever you want regarding Windows 8. Um, I had Windows 8 for a while now and I have a love-hate relationship to it right, as it is now. Uh, I love how your performance are increased and I like the feel about Windows 8. Uh, what I don't like about Windows 8 mostly is this. The Metro uh, Metro uh, UI or whatever you want to call it. I just don't like it. It's horrible in every way. So what I've done is this. This is my desktop right now. <coughs> and uh, it's a minimalistic thing where you can, yeah, it looks just great com compared to uh, Metro uh, UI. I forgot what it's called now, but anyway. Um, so what, what I've done is I've installed a custom skin for Windows 8, which changed all the icons and the fonts and just the general look of it. So it looks a bit more smooth. And uh, and I also got this, which Windows 8 doesn't have. If you if you have it, you know that it doesn't have a simple start button down here in desktop mode. And I hate that. I just want to do bam, shut down, easy as that. But no, I have to go like that. Settings, power, shut down. Fucking four steps to get to sh uh, turn off your computer. But now, bam, bam, done. And I am um, so basically. The general feel is a skin I installed. I'm gonna guide you, guide you guys through it all as good as I can without actually doing it all again. And uh, this is a program called Poke or Poke, whatever you wanna call it. And these icons and this information and all that that clock is something called Raid Meter, which a lot of people don't really know what it is. But I just made a custom, custom everything basically. So yeah, let's get to it. So first open up your desired web browser and enter in pokey, p o k k i dot com and you will come here. And basically it's a start menu. It's a standalone start menu for Windows 8. And you can have like here's my apps, my current apps, and you can have like apps as in phone apps if you know what I mean, like uh, applications similar to your phone you can have it here as well if you go here that icon is gone apparently but there's some way you can go to the app store and download things but anyway and uh, we had the start button and if we press this we're gonna go back to the metro start screen um, and we have some settings here we can make it dark uh, we can change the placement and what we want like downloads devices connections so on. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And um, yeah, that's that program. I love it. It's just amazing. Also, when you boot into Windows 8 after installing this, you will come automatically into the desktop, so you don't have to actually go into the Metro UI if you don't want it. And next up is SkinPacks.com. I'm gonna go up here to download Windows 8. And if you want the same style as I do, you go to Chromium Skin Pack. Just download 68-bit version or 86-bit version. It all depends on what system you have, and you can you can check that by going into here, Computer and System Properties. And as you see here, I have a 64-bit operating system. If it says 32-bit, you need to download this one, the 86 x86 version. And this is basically going to give you this. It will also install this program, which is called Rocket Dock. Um, I personally don't like it, so I disable it in the startup menu because I'm too lazy to uninstall it. And basically, it's to Control Alt Delete, type, uh, press Taskmaster, Manager, even. Wow. And go into Startup, find Rocket Dock, right click and disable, and it won't start automatically. 
And yeah, that's it. They don't have that many skins, but... I like this one, so I'm going with that. And next is Rain Meter, which is basically a third-party program that will enable you to put a shit ton of things on your desktop, uh, which will do different things, like here it's keeping track of my hard drives, and if I press it, I should open it. There we go. And um, Photoshop, Explorer, yada yada yada. <coughs> And uh, system. Let's right click. Come on. Right click. There we go. Yes, I want to permanently delete this. So, yeah. And here's my hard drive as well Google search, RAM, CPU, swap memory. And yeah. So, basically, Rain Meter, you can put different nice looking features onto your desktop. <coughs> uh, sorry. And what you do is just download it. It will work straight off with Windows 8, even if you don't want to have the whole pokey thingy and all that. And uh, then you can go to Discover and you can press this. And it will come here to Divine Art or whatever you want to call it. And you can find tons of already made skins and just run them. Basically, and they will automatically. Yeah, uh, automatically install. And that's about it actually. It took me about 1-2 hours to get it the way I want it. I'm not done yet, but this is a general feel on what I want it. Minimalistic, clean, some basic things. And um, Fair warning though, keep in mind that Rain Meter actually drains a bit of your resources. Let's see how much, it, how, let's see how much it's taking right now. Uh, rain, there we go. So it's taking 0.1 point, point, yeah you see. The one there, the one that this mark. So it doesn't take that much, but it's something at least. So if you have a bad PC, you should not install it. And you could install it, but you don't have, should, you shouldn't have as much uh, skins or as it's called in Raymeter as I do. If I'm just gonna show you quickly here, these are the things I have. So it's quite a lot uh, hogging memory, but I got 16 gigs of RAM, and a decent CPU, so I'm good. And uh, yeah, this is just a quick how to get a Windows 7 feel on Windows 8 and um, I'm just gonna say if you haven't updated to Windows 8 do it it's cheap to go from Windows 7 to Windows 8 you can buy an upgrade key from Windows website and it's really cheap I can't really remember how much it is but it's everyone can afford it really and if you haven't uh, if you don't have Windows 8 get it it's worth it and yeah, that's about it for this time. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and s subscribe if you haven't. And um, I might be coming out with another video going a bit more into Rain Meter on how to customize things and edit things and things like that. Uh, that was a lot of things in one sentence. Uh, but yeah, yeah questions leave them down below in, or in a PM and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, until next time. Work is out.